Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome. My name is Proacid from Craft Realms, and uh, I'm glad to be here today to demonstrate and to show you how to install Pixelmon. Pixelmon is a game, it's a mod for Minecraft, which pretty much just brings Pokemon with Minecraft and combines it for pure awesomeness. I'm doing this because now we have a, a Pixelmon server. The IP will be in the description. It's pixelmon.craftrealms.com and the website for it is craftrealms.com slash pixelmon and you can see more information there. But yeah, the server will be going uh, public right after I finish this video and show you all how to install this pure awesome game <laughs> into your Minecraft. Well, it's not a game, it's a mod. But anyways, I'm a little under the weather, so excuse my voice and excuse my accent, but I'm not American. Anyways, let's get started. So first of all, you'll have to go to this website, which uh, you can check from up there, or I'll put that on the description so you don't have to be looking through the video. Once you come here, you will have to go to the download section, obviously, and um, you'll have to do a little, some scrolling, so get your fingers ready. You just gotta go all the way down until you see a donate button, which you should donate if you have the money to them for this awesome mod. And right after underneath it, it has two links. You can pick either or one, so like you can pick the first one or the second one. It doesn't really matter. It's just different. They have different um, like oh, noise from outside. Anyways, they have different uh, services like for getting money for clicking on their links, like Adify. Right after you click on it, it'll tell you. You'll bring you here, and you'll be able to get a Pixelmon uh, zip file. And the second link will get you Minecraft Forge, which you'll just click skip out, and it will uh, it'll ask you to download it instantly. You don't have to press anything after that. I've done all the work and have saved uh, both of these files into a Pixelmon folder on my desktop. I I don't have anything on my desktop. I hide it icons because I have a ton. Of stuff. Anyway, so once you do that, you're pretty much set with downloading. All you gotta do now is install it. To install it is basically the same thing, but we'll have to do some uh, other things before we can get there. So let me just start my Minecraft one second. All right. So once you start your Minecraft, uh, your Minecraft launcher, your normal Minecraft launcher, you'll have to do a few things. First of all, this mod is for uh, Minecraft 1.6.2, not 1.6.4. So you have to do some editing. So you have, you have to go to Edit Profile, and in here you have your profile name. I'll I'll name this Pixelmon. Oh, well, Forge will rename it anyways, so it doesn't really matter. I'll just name it for now. And where it says Use Version, in here you set you have to select 1.6.2, and uh, if you already have uh, uh, if you already have modded your Minecraft, make sure you delete it and you re-download a new fresh version. Just to make sure that we're doing everything on the same level. So once you do that, you save your profile. I'll save it. And then I'll hit play. And now I'll download my new jar. And I'll skip through this probably or I'll fast forward it. Much done. Alright, so once you do that, your Minecraft will start. And uh, we're pretty much done after that. You can uh, close out of it, and that's it. Now you have to go to your Minecraft Forge installer. It's a uh, that jar. If I'm yeah, it's a jar. So if it doesn't show, if it shows um, a WinRAR uh, icon instead of jar, you have to right click, go to properties, and uh, where it says open with change, and you have to select Java. Well, you should already have Java installed to play Minecraft in the first place, so Java should show under there. But if it doesn't, then you have to browse to it, and uh, it's probably under Java, I suppose. Maybe under 64, though. Should be under there. So it should be under Java. J, did I pass it? I did. Java, right there. JRE library. No, it's not there. In the bin. Yeah, and you select Java. And that should be it. And then you press open, and that should be okay. But since mine shows here, I don't have to do all that. And then apply, and then okay. And then you have to double click on it, and it will open a window like this. Right now, we're going to install the Minecraft version of it and not the server version. So we're just going to select install client. And it should already select the path where your Minecraft folder is at. 
so you don't have to do anything. Uh, but if it doesn't, you might have to do some uh, searching around and going to your .minecraft folder. Uh, once you get there, you once you have this like this, you just press OK, and it will download uh, all the libraries it needs, and then it will tell you that it's successfully done. All right, guys. So once it's done, it will say successfully installed client profile forge for version then has a name on your launcher. So that's pretty cool. Now you'll have an actual uh, profile under your Minecraft with the name Forge, and that's what we need. But before we get started and, and actually start Forge, we have to install the actual mod. And to do this, we have to open this with WinRAR or with actual, um, just extract it. If you don't have WinRAR, it should work fine because it's a zip and not a RAR. But I'll extract it with WinRAR. Once you do that, you'll see that there's two things in here, and you don't have to do anything pretty much from there. All you have to do is go to your start and then type percent app data da, 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 and then percent. And uh, that should open your roaming folder. And I have giant client. It's a it's a crack client, hack client used to be anyways. I know some of you will be asking and thinking that I'm a cheater or whatever. Anyways, once you get this if you freshly install your Minecraft, you should have something like this. And all you have to do from now on is just from after you extracted this, you should have two things in here database and mods. You paste those in here, and that's it. It's one of the easiest things to install. I don't know how you guys are having issues. Anyways, once you do that, you are freshly and uh, epically ready to play some uh, Pixelmon. I'll start my Minecraft. Alright guys, once I start my Minecraft, you will see that now under my profiles, I have one called Forge. And of course I have to log in again, because uh, Minecraft thinks I'm cheating. I have a long password. <laughs> I can edit this profile and then name it Pixelmon. I usually do this, because I, I had a ton of different mods that I play with. Use version, make sure you don't change this, because that's what it needs. And I usually do change my resolution 1280. Boom! Where the hell is 80? And uh, 720. It's a pretty good aspect ratio. I put some two gigabytes up in there and save settings. And ready to play some Pixelmon. See, wasn't that hard? Well, was it? That's pretty much it. We will start your Minecraft. We will tell you that you're awesome. And uh. You should be able to play. Well, <laughs> not responding. No, it's responding. Well, yeah, I have my settings all messed up right now, though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What the hell? Where is GUI skill? Normal. Everything else should. Uh, let me just put my max FPS. Everything else should be fine. Two, two, two. And okay, now let's go multiplayer and add a server. Make sure to add this into your servers. <laughs> Last pixel mon dot crap dot com. That's the IP. Done. And boom. You welcome. Let's see. <laughs> you should be able to join just fine. Yeah. And you see on the left side you have everything else you need. That's it, guys. I hope this video helped. And um, as I said, it's one of the easiest things to install. It doesn't have that uh, much stuff to do. Oh my god, press that cancel. Alright guys, so thank you for watching. I hope to help you out and uh, enjoy playing on our Pixelmon server. One thing guys, if you're going to play on our server, we have a map. It's pixelmon.craftyums.com. The IP, it's just the web address too. The server as of this moment is whitelisted because we're still working on the gyms on each map. I mean, on each town. So there is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towns, and there should be eight gyms. And uh, each gym leader will be able, you have to defeat a gym leader to get a gym uh, leader's tag or badge. And after you get eight, all eight of them, you're able to join the monthly tournament on our server. And the winner gets a free rank each month and uh, all that cool stuff. Make sure to play. If you don't know how to use the mod, make sure to go to their site and look and look through their wiki because it's if you never played Pokemon, I'm telling you it should be fairly weird to learn. But uh if you are experienced with how Pokemon works, then you should be fine. But still just take a look at their wiki and uh getting started is pretty cool kind of starting kind of thing 
where you get to know everything, the commands and all that stuff. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. I uh, hope to see you on my server. Pro Acid, peace out.